pitched forward, you're going to get whoop, whoop, the pure roll, just a swap. You're going to finish and then whoop, whoop, yaw spin. Whoop, okay, then yaw spin that direction. Then whoop, you're going to go high and around. Swap, whoop, whoop, and then whoop, it's getting colder. <laughs> That's not going to stop me from getting outside and trying to fly some Spang! If you're new to this series, Spang is an incredibly dynamic and energetic form of freestyle that has always impressed and kind of intimidated me. And so, you gotta face the thing you're afraid of and you gotta punch it in the freaking nose. I'm gonna fly Spang for 30 days and see how much better I can get. Today's day three. Here's what we're working on in day three. I don't want to pick a single like move and try to do it because day two frustrated me a little bit trying to do that so instead we're gonna do something a little more fun I'm gonna try and just put a couple things together and emulate one of Farouk FPV's Spang lines and uh, then you know well it's probably gonna look like shit so what Farouk does here is a right roll followed by a left flat yaw spin followed by another right roll while sliding backwards. And then he goes back over the tree with a left like a split S. It's a simple series of moves. I know I can do them, but let's see if I can make them look spangy. So I'm gonna do this just once out in the field to get the feel for it. It's, he comes around, the yaw spin continues. Okay, so it's, All right, that's the move. Uh, one of the things we're gonna focus on this move is that flat yaw spin. Uh, it means getting just the right amount of pitch and roll in so that the quad rolls with the horizon staying flat. That's actually a move I feel fairly confident with uh, I can do. And he's doing it fairly quick as he goes past the obstacle. So what you don't want is you don't want to get too much roll, in which case it'll kind of turn into a, a roll like that. Or you can get too much yaw, in which case it's not flat. You end up looking at the sky through the backside of it. But with just the right amount, and drifting a little, he's doing it faster, I think. So you just gotta sort of work with your fingers to find and feel where the right amount of pitch and roll is to keep the horizon flat as you go all the way through. That's fine. That's fine, I can do that. So we're going to... Uh-huh, let's just work that. Let's just try to get that clean. We're gonna roll and then, interesting. So one thing I just noticed is that if you hold the roll stick you're simply, at the beginning, you're, you're just rolling, but you just leave the roll stick in and you add the yaw stick. And if you've got the right amount of roll, they'll transition smoothly into each other without you having to move the roll stick very much. And get that sort of chaining together of the moves that is such a spangy thing. There's no pause in between the moves. They're, de they're getting chained together. That, was, that felt pretty good, actually. See, I'm putting that little throttle pump in, but that's breaking up the chain. Huh. Did he roll the other direction? Did I change it? He rolled the other direction, didn't he? He rolled left and then yawed right. Uh, well, that doesn't let you do the whole keep the stick in thing, but that looks better. Oh, hello. I'm gonna crash into that, I can't see damn thing. So let's do this in a more tighter area here on my driveway. Let's do it going away from the cars, just in case I... So we're gonna go here and we're gonna go that was sloppy. Sloppy as heck. Mm. 
Interesting. Too fast. It doesn't have to be super fast. That's, I'm not keeping my line. So that's another characteristic of Spang that stands out to me is that as they're doing the crazy tricks, they're always on their line. It feels like they are. They're always keeping their line. So if I come out of here, I should always be going the direction I mean to be going. Whatever that is. And not coming offline or... Oh, yeah, see, that was, that was so sloppy. I just drifted offline. I knew this was the right thing to do. I got so frustrated trying to do those inverts and not liking how they came out. I just kept banging my head against them. This is so much more fun. <sighs> All right, so let's pick a tree to do this one around like Farouk did. We'll pick this tree. So we're gonna start with a roll away from the tree. We're gonna end the roll before we get to the tree and do the yaw spin that way and then we'll roll that way except the yaw spin needs to be a turn and a half it needs to be a turn and a half so that we end up facing backwards so come in this way and then uh towards the tree because we go the opposite direction of the yaw and then it's a much taller tree so he does a he does a split s over the tree i guess we could do that followed by a, a rewind back over the tree. And that's gonna be our move that we're gonna work. Oof, that was close. From here, can we, I mean, that's a long way to go, but I mean, we can do it. Shit. Ooh. That was nice and close. And see, I shouldn't have gone to the left two times there. That wasn't bad. I gotta be real close to the tree. I gotta be real close to the tree to get this right. Okay, so let's aim right at it. That's uh, sloppy as heck. We'll come around there. Hello. And, okay, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Come around here and... Flat spin. We should still be drifting backwards on that one, I think. We shouldn't have come to a stop, so I'm gonna need to come out of that yaw spin with just a little bit of pitch back so I can continue to go backwards away from it. I think I am coming out of the yaw spin with pitch forward and I'm coming to a stop like that. I don't wanna do that. I wanna be sliding backwards so I continue that movement. So we will. Okay, that was sloppy as heck. But now I gotta stop and come over the tree. That feels good. That feels good. I feel good about that. Oh. Okay. So that last roll is actually more of a like a almost a barrel roll with a spiral and that's where he's changing his direction from going backwards towards moving forwards so that when he goes into the split s he's already transitioned from going back to going forwards it's not drift back do the roll while going back kind of like a vanny roll like vanover does and then after that change direction and go forward he's using that spirally roll to change direction at the same time. And it's also a bigger spiral. It's not a whoop up 
How about the first one? Is the first one a spiral? And the first one is more of a more of a, a roll, and the nose is down a little bit. So that one isn't cross coordinated to level the horizon, which makes sense. It's so close to the ground, but that one is more pure roll, flat. And then this is goes gets a big elevation boost. And the other thing is a rolls out of it just a little bit and then flicks it back. He doesn't stop dead for that one. Maybe that's intentional. Okay. Keep working on it. So the style of the roll he does is we're pitch forward and we just roll like that. We don't, we don't level out and roll and we don't cross coordinate to bring the horizon up. Uh, cross coordinate means to push roll and yaw the opposite direction which counteracts the effect of your pitch forward so that there's a little bit of a throttle pump to 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 make it kind of like a hurdle or a hop so it's not a, just a it's not just we're flying straight and we roll like that like mr steel will just insert a roll in the middle of the line without pumping the throttle at all and just keep going. There's a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a pop. That's that first roll to the left. So we're going. I should probably go to the right there just to change direction. That already felt better. I mean, that, I could see the pieces there. Okay, we gotta have some speed here. Because it's all about the speed. That should be smoother. Okay, so try to get that smoother. That last one, where we're coming backwards, it should be, yes. It should be the same speed all the way through. Uh-huh. Ha, oh, what did I just do there? That was a, sp what was spangy about that? That felt spangy. Why did that feel spangy? I don't know. We should have the same speed. It shouldn't be like, like that. It shouldn't be. That's not, that's not spangy, is it? No, interesting. My moves have this rubber bandiness to them where I'll go. That's me. That's how I usually do it. This rubber bandiness to them. Like that. It's slow. Fast slow. That's not spangy. That's Bardwell. Interesting. I gotta change my tempo. Okay, so here we go. Okay, it was lined up badly, and we'll try again. I wonder if I could do a little bit of an eject coming out of here. And get some speed. Okay, so I did a... I didn't really do a split S over, but... That's one of the great things about this type of exercise is that it shows you habits that you've gotten into that are so ingrained in the way you fly that you don't even know that you're doing it. Then it forces you to break those habits and do something different. And it's like if you're a classical musician and you, just, you try to play jazz, or you try to play metal or rock, it just says, do something different with yourself. Except this isn't nearly as dramatic a difference. Like, it's not like Bardwell style is this highly refined style. It's just the habits that I've gotten into. It's so valuable. Just do anything other than what you normally do and try and make it work. It's fantastic. We'll come through here. We'll go... Okay, why am I sucking at that move? Here we go. It's just a little blip. We'll go this way. Okay, I'm going the same direction though. Don't do that. I gotta go to the other side of the tree. Do I? I can roll either direction, it doesn't fucking matter. 
It feels better to roll off this that way. And then from here... No! Oh, Bardwell! What are you doing? We'll go this way. We'll come around. We'll come off this like that. That's to the left. We'll need to go to this side and we'll go to the right. Then we'll go to the left. I need to change direction to go forward. Okay, we'll go to the uh, left of the tree and, and yaw to the right. That's fine. So we'll come around here. We'll hop off this. Oh, damn it. We'll go there. Gonna aim through it. Uh huh. Don't go back into those. Okay. Let's try and clean it up now. I feel like somehow those, um, it's, it's feeling better. Like something about the way this roll to the left is twisting and stopping is feeling better to me. See, I wasn't close enough to the tree to do the yaw move, but maybe I need to carry a little more speed there so I end up close to the tree or enter the yaw later. Okay, here we go. Oh, right into the tree. <laughs> Here we go. Wrong way. Not exactly a split us over the tree, but the the I feel like it's getting closer. Like the the timing and the rhythm of it feels better. Uh, 3.4. All right. Now these Farouk props are pretty freaking durable. I think I've been on the same set of props for this whole series so far. <laughs> oh, I did chip one though. I did chip one. Okay, so I got to change the props. All right. Well, that's going to be the sign that I am done for today. Uh, that was great. I feel like that was more progress in understanding what it takes to make my video, my flight look spangy than some of the stuff I've done so far. I guess you gotta just try a little bit of everything. Uh, there's a playlist. It's got all the videos in the series. Today is number three. There will be more. There have been some before if you missed the beginning. I'll put a card on screen. You can check out the whole playlist. That's it for today though. Happy flying.